Christina Rapuano just got her PhD in neuroscience at Dartmouth, but in 2015, she says she was raped by one of her professors while attending a conference. I have no memory of that night. We had sexual intercourse, um, which I now believe to be sexual assault. She and six other women in a federal lawsuit filed this morning accused Dartmouth administrators of knowingly permitting three of its prominent and well-funded professors to turn a research department into a 21st century animal house. According to the class action complaint, these professors leered at, groped, sexted, intoxicated, and even raped female students. What Dartmouth did was too little too late. In a written statement, Dartmouth says it strongly disagrees with the lawsuit's characterizations of the college's actions. But as a result of the misconduct we found earlier this year by three faculty members, we took unprecedented steps toward revoking their tenure and terminating their employment. The biggest misstep of Dartmouth is not uh, properly handling the uh, complaints that had come forward in the early 2000s. The New Hampshire Attorney General's Office has launched a criminal investigation into the allegations. Gabe Gutierrez, NBC News. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.